This is a complete review of the Static Grass King Static Grass Applicator Kit. In this video, I will cover why this is the best type static grass applicator. We'll take a detailed look at the kit. We'll look at the type of grass dispensers used. Look at a DIY flock box that you can make with this. How it performs powered by 12 volt DC. How it performs powered by 9 volt battery. And what customers have said about it. First, let's talk about why this kit makes the best type static grass applicator. First of all, this type static grass applicator is extremely versatile. You can do things with this that you can't do with one of those shakers or a fly swatter. You can make grass dispensers to suit your needs. Now, I'll show you some of the dispensers. I make many of them. I love making scenery and I use grass dispensers to do exactly what I want. You can power a DIY flock box with this finished kit. Why spend money on a flock box when you can just go ahead and connect to a pan and use this? I'll show you the flock box that I use in this video. With this, you can add grass in low overhead areas. Have you tried adding grass with a shaker type static grass applicator in, in a tunnel along building walls, you know, in, in tunnel entrances, in ditches? These do a great job. You can make grass tops incredibly fast. You'll see how it pulls later on and it used that technique or characteristic to make tufts. And we have a separate video on doing this. People love it. You can even add branches to tree armatures, wire and plastic. This is powerful. You can lay multiple layers of grass in one pass. You don't need layering sprays. You just make your mix and add it. Makes wonderful unmowed fields, borders, edges, unbelievable. Above, all of the above, you learn how to do in the two books that come with it and the tutorials you get with the kit. This is the kit that you get when you assemble it, you've got the control box, input plugs, output plugs. To this, you attach to disperse your grass, a vegetable strainer. We'll show you how to make this in our instructions. Or my favorite, a tea strainer. And there are other tools that you'll see me use and that are available in the instructions. But this is the basic kit that you get. It's flat, it's portable, it lays where you want it. Now, when the kit comes to you, you get a box, styrene box, insulated. You'll have to drill a few holes. You'll drill two small holes here and here and you'll drill for a switch. You will get a package of parts. Everything you need to make the control unit that I showed you before. Then the heart of the kit is a 12 volt DC uh, input 15 kilovolt DC output. Very powerful unit. You won't find anything else like it on the market, especially designed for static grass applicators and flock boxes. You can use it for other things too, but you'll see it operate uh, as a flock box in a little bit anyway. And in my other videos, you'll see 
it operate as a static grass applicator. This is what the kit looks like inside. Notice two, there were small holes drilled. You attach the plugs. There's a switch, you drill a larger hole. You put the switch in. You put the uh, generator in. You attach the wires. You've got solderless connectors. I prefer to solder them just for the heck of it, but you don't need all you can do have to do is crimp them with a pair of pliers. Look how simple that is. You do not have to be an electronics technician to put it together. You get wiring diagrams, which are very simple. Green and black and and red and black. So that's it's very easy to put together. You put this on top close these and you have an assembled kit you have left over in terms of parts you have the banana clips necessary and the alligator clip that will go to your grounding wire we'll show you that in a bit let's look at what we attach to this uh, control unit first we attach a grounding clip, nothing more than an alligator clip with a banana clip on it. You can add to it a nail, whatever you wish. But then the basic unit is a vegetable strainer. Vegetable strainer will cover wide areas for you very quickly, very useful. My favorite is a tea strainer. Tea strainer, small, small areas, but I use this a lot when I work with my fingers. I'll put the grass along the wall or in a ditch and I'll tease the grass up. But it's also good with very small grass, one, two millimeter grass, especially when I'm making a mix. You get, you get a lot of control with a tea strainer. Here is an extremely useful tool. It's nothing more. An alley clip, alligator clip on a piece of wire, I put it inside a dowel. I use this, I attach wire, tree arm, <coughs> plastic tree armatures. I use it for making static grass trees. And then in conjunction with a piece of screen and baking paper attached to it, I put glue, be it dots or white pieces, attach it, and you see this earlier in, in the video with the flock box, you see how it pulls up the grass. You can also use the screen alone without the paper to tease grass up. Now, if you want a shaker, very simple. This is a piece of poly pipe. I add to it a jar with some screen and wire it. I now have a shaker. You can use a mason jar or a jar. Put a piece of screen over the top of the jar and you have a shaker. Now I'll show you the way I use a shaker, I use this and over the top, look at that. Very easy. And I keep my grass in the jar, put it away. Now you can make other tools if you wish, but those are the tools I use and enjoy. Okay, I've got this set up as a simple flock box. It's cheap. It's the back of a pizza pan with the grass atop it. I'm going to use a special tool I use to make uh, grass tufts. I make them on the flock box. This is uh, using a 12 volt uh, input. Look at that grass pull. Straight up. Now I've zoomed in so you can see a little bit better. We're going to take the same tool over the top of this grass and you can see a 
get a better view now of it being pulled up. Look at how that stands. It's powerful. You can make grass tufts very easily this way. You just put some glue on that tool. Now I'm going to show you something I think amazing. I'm going to power this with a 9 volt DC battery rather than a 12 volt uh, Walmart. Watch how this pulls the grass up. It's not quite as powerful as with a 12 volt DC input, but a lot of people really like to use a battery because it makes the kit extremely portable. They love it. They don't use anything else. There's no wires laying around. So you can use whatever input you wish. What I think about this is one thing, but what do people who have used this think? That's what we're going to do now. Look at this. This guy has a whole group of different grass applicators. And this one is far the best and the most versatile. This is nice. My trained group, not one guy, group has converted to using this. Highly recommend it to anyone using static grass. And it's worked flawlessly. And look here. Machine is our favorite. I ordered two, one of which went to a guy in the electronics repair business. He does it for a living and he likes it. And again, our group likes them. Not, not just one guy, more than one guy. They're only using a seven and a half volt uh, regulated power supply and input. Most people I know use nine volt. Look here, easy to assemble. Instructions elaborate, plenty of examples, and you don't have to be an electronics expert. The guys use a small tea strainer. Yes, you have to make your own. He's going to make several. I have several, and I show you how to do them in the instructions. And this is my favorite. Even if you have a static grass applicator, get this, it is an eye opener. And I've heard that over and over again. People are really surprised when they see how well this worked. 